Hello. It is Monday, the 19th of September of 2022. I want to speak just a little bit about integration and how that's a process, how it's its own flow, how it's a natural part of the reality that we are both fully this human embodied tangible being and an energetic soul who is on a timeless journey that we are at home in this physical world and that we also are at home in that field of life force that holds all things in being. It's easy to have our attention bounce from one to the other. We do spiritual practices and we feel the connection with all that is. We feel our place within the web of life, within the being of humanity, within the cosmos. And then we begin walking through our day and a headline catches us, um, a friend drops in a bit of news and we are right here in the physical, practical challenges of this world. And it's easy to feel like we have to bounce from one to the other. What I'd like to invite you to do is relax. Integration is like breathing. It happens automatically without our attention. Every bit of energy within us and this greater flow of the sacred energy of all things is always on the move. It's always morphing into something new. It's always shifting and changing. And the best we can do is not try to grasp and hold it with our mind. Our mind is very good at what it perceives as things that it can figure out, get into alignment, show how things go. I've been finding the process of integration much more gentle as I've started to do art, I've started to draw my own renditions of some of these symbols from the sacred geometry. These patterns of circles and hexagons and triangles and all of the shapes that appear within nature, within chemistry, within botany. And as I allow myself to just focus on a shape and let something more complex be formed in them, as I just reach in and pull out any color and begin coloring in the shapes I've made, not caring what my mind says goes together, I discover that all the colors go together. They're all energy. They're all expressions. They're all part of the whole thing. The shapes and the forms begin to bring me back to how there is this intricacy of detail and this harmony of form. And as I focus my attention there, I can relax and rest and know that the new things that I'm discovering in terms of sensing my connections with the unseen mystery and the things that I discover about how my tangible world functions 
are going to knit themselves together on their own. I'll go to sleep and I'll wake up tomorrow and something will have fitted itself together. I let go and think about something entirely different. I do a jigsaw puzzle, I do Sudoku, and all of a sudden when I come back, it's like, oh, okay. Oh, I can do that. And so much of it keeps on coming back to my heart that my heart is gonna know the answers. My heart is that place of that union, that intersection for this integration. And so if you are in one of those times when things just don't seem to fit together, um, a uh, universal view of all things flowing into a new transformation for the benefit of all and what you see out your window don't feel like they fit. Relax, relax. Come back to your heart and let the integration take care of itself. It will. It's part of one of those na next natural steps that unfolds along our path. Thank you for listening. I'll be here again tomorrow. Thank you.